Hi, I'm Barbara Tusi, and I'm coming to you from Florida. And it's my privilege and honor to have Randy Rolf on today. Oh my goodness, when I look at the books and the things that you've written, it's just so exciting, Randy. Um, but what today, so she's a, an attorney, a um, amazing wellness consultant. I almost want to say advocate too, because you're just so great with all that you are and, and you know, the parenting and now having some grandchildren and such. It's just a, a great, um, you're a plethora of information and I'm so excited. So the newest books that are out are The Secret to Weight Loss is Energy. Yay. And, um, and so I want to go into that. And I also want to say that you're from California, but you're right now Pennsylvania. So um, your family's from Pennsylvania and that we've been also working together as um, I guess associates, comrades um, in the field of wellness for many years now and over 20. And it's just become like you're my chosen family, my chosen go to to ask for information and things. And so I love um, all that you do and all that you are. So Randy, tell us, start off with telling us about yourself and how you kind of got onto this mission. Okay, sure. Yeah, we met on the, the train in Japan, yeah, 98, right. <laughs> a long time ago, but uh, good memory. Yeah, um, I, I think it started back when I was a kid. Um, I just always thought, why can't people be happy? And let me figure out how people can be happy. And there were some family feuds in my um, parents' families. And um, both of my families, my uh, parents had drinking problems. So I'm like, I'm going to solve this. I'm going to figure out how to have a happy life. And so I, I thought I'd just become a Renaissance woman, learn law, learn uh, health, and uh, learn philosophy. And so that's what I've kind of done in my 70 years. Uh, and I, I love the word advocate because I'm an advocate for everybody having the right to, to health. And um, my, my first book, which wasn't published because the publisher said it was too reasonable, uh, was on nutrition. Taught myself nutrition and then I got certified in nutrition. Um, so my first published book was on parenting. When I had my own kids, people would ask me, why is it going so well for you? We keep asking you questions, you always have answers. And, and I said, well, I followed the natural pattern of parent-child bonding. Mm -hmm. You know, schooling is only 100 years old, compulsory schooling, and nutrition has changed so much since a thousand years ago, 10,000 years ago, a million years ago. Uh, so let's just get back to basics. What does it take to be healthy, to be a good parent? So I wrote the first parenting book called You Can Postpone Anything But Love. And then a publisher asked me to write a book for families that uh, have ha or, um, parents who had parents who had addiction or other problems and how not to repeat the emotional stress of that for their own kids. Mm -hmm. So that that was my second parenting book. And then I, I wanted to write another book that kind of simplified it all and had older uh, examples, children that were older. So mm -hmm. that's what the, the most recent book, The Seven Secrets of Successful Parents. And that also included some information about our homeschooling experience, which a lot of parents are doing right now or, or you know, virtual schooling, which is different from home education. So, yeah, um, so I just, and then um, in the 90s, I was looking for a way to reach more people with the idea of natural living. And that's when Nikan came my way. A naturopathic physician said, you're interested in reaching people with good health. Um, I should tell you about Nikan. And I like, okay. Uh, I've looked at all the network marketing companies. They're all just me too nutritionals. I'm not really interested. And he said, well, this is different. It's from Japan. So the rest is history. He showed me the sleep system and I'm like, yes, that's what we need. Because I had lived in a broken down old farmhouse that didn't have any floor, just a, a wood floor and a mud basement. And we never got tired. We were getting the magnetic energy of the earth. And I thought, here's a company that's in Japan that's figured out how to give us that energy without buying an old farmhouse with no floor. So I just, 
I knew instantly that it was what I was praying for. So that's the story. Great. That's I remember you saying too that friends came over to your home and started feeling better prior to knee Ken. And that's how you figured out the floor or the interview? Yeah, people people came up from um, Philadelphia where we, we had been living and we bought this place in upstate New York and, and we put them to work because we were rebuilding the place. And, and they said, how come I don't get tired? If I did this kind of work back in Pennsylvania, I'd be lying on the couch aching. And uh, so we figured out it was that they were directly in touch with the earth's energy. Nice, nice. So um, with some nuggets, because you know now I was joking yesterday talking about the COVID-10, you know, <laughs> the 10 pounds of being home and sediment and i mean i have the trampoline out i've got the the ball and the bosu out on the porch you know like i'm trying to get some things around but so let's go into that because i know we're all into health and wellness and um but the secret of weight loss and maintaining it so where do you want to yeah you know, yeah, it's a funny story for me the titles of the book write the book for me if i have the right title the book comes out. And so I woke up one morning saying, well, everybody knows they're supposed to eat less and exercise more. Duh. But they don't do it today because they don't feel like it. They don't have the energy. So the key is to rebuild your energy system. So that means your gut bacteria, your mental attitude, and be nourishing yourself properly so that your nerves and your hormones and your muscles are all working. And get outside, get nature's energy. And that's where Nikon comes in. I mentioned it in the book because you can get a better night's sleep, which is when all your recovery happens and your hormones rebalance so that your body actually tells you when you've had enough to eat. If you haven't had enough sleep, your body doesn't tell you when you've had enough, uh, enough to eat because the hormones haven't been rebalanced again during a good night's sleep. So, so the key is to, to have the energy you need to remember to take that walk and do that bouncing on your trampoline and to, to not have that third cookie is to have enough energy that, yeah, today I'm doing this. Today I'm going to treat myself right. So it's all about, you know, building your natural energy system. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Because you got to balance. If you're out of balance in any way, at, that's... So you go into that more specifically or... Oh, for sure. Yeah. The first couple of chapters are, you know, it's not really about getting out there and, and exercising to death, trying to, to burn calories, because then you say, oh, I should reward myself with a, with a donut, you know, um, or you don't feel like going, you, you've got a gym membership, but you don't feel like it today. Oh, you got a couple calls to make, you're going to see your your kids or whatever, and you just don't do it today. Same with eating right, especially in the holiday period or when you're stuck at home, like most people are these days who aren't essential workers, um, the refrigerator's right there. So what's gonna keep you from opening it? Well, energy, you don't, you're not hungry because you've had enough water, you've had enough breakfast. Um, so it, it's really about being in balance, like you said. And I think planning ahead too. Like I've, you know, got up earlier. I have my salad made for lunch. It's sitting on the counter ready because I don't want to wait till I'm hungry to figure out what am I going to eat? You know, like, so I like to plan a little bit and then I have my snacks and things too. So. That's a really good point. Uh, routine is really important because the body responds to routine. And if you're eating irregularly, it has a hard time even telling you whether you're hungry or thirsty or tired or, or need a deep breath. So if you have a routine where uh, you have like four hours between your meals, for instance, uh, then you'll eat the right amount or take a little while to figure what that is. But once you have the right size breakfast, you'll do fine till lunch and same with dinner. Uh, maybe one snack at four o'clock, like the English have their tea and crumpets, but uh, um, just have maybe one break and, and you'll know, you'll plan 
what kind of snack is going to keep you balanced. Right. And, and the appropriate liquid, getting the right water and, or, you know, I've cut back a lot on juice, but I have tea and some other things that I've implemented instead of coffee. I've uh, weaned myself off of coffee. Um, and now I do just chicory root tea at night. It, uh, chicory root, it tastes like coffee. So yeah. I'm fine with that. Actually, I like it a lot and I kind of make it like that. So, but is there anything else you wanna share about that? And then I'm gonna open it up for Q and A too. Sure. Well, uh, the the, uh, the beverage point is so important because most beverages in today's society dehydrate. So just because you're drinking a beer or an orange juice or, or a coffee doesn't mean you're getting hydrated. You're actually being dehydrated. So you must drink water. And um, the only other thing, maybe it would be vegetable juice. Uh, but the others tend to, to acidify the system and you lose water. So um, yeah, it's not just beverages, it's water. <laughs> and of course, it, Nikon has the best water I know of, the alkaline magnetized water. Well, now that you talk about the acid alkaline, I think there's also, um, and leaching the body um, with bone health. I mean, now, I mean, it's more prevalent in women and we're more aware of it. Uh, but it also is something that goes after men as well. And so if we're not nourishing our bodies and eating the balanced lifestyle, it's going to take from our bone. That's like our, it's the bank, right? It's the supplier. And uh, so that's, that's a big deal. Like, yeah, like, that's incredibly important. Um, certainly as we age, uh, we need to look even more carefully at that but they find a lot of young athletes are they're not nourishing themselves up to the quality they need for the amount of uh, stress they're putting on their bodies and so they're they're uh, finding some osteoporotic conditions in young athletes as well and then also stress Stress leaches uh, the minerals out of your bones because magnesium is the first um, the, the first mineral that disappears in stress and it's essential to keep the bones mineralized. So I've been recommending supplementing with extra magnesium for over 40 years and uh, it, it's essential, especially for mature women, but for anybody who's under stress, which is everybody right now. <laughs> Right. That's a, I mean, this is a whole different time. And uh, someone was speaking yesterday and they were like, yeah, whenever we get back, I'm like, there is no back. You know, we are moving forward and we are more, I think more family centered or more home centered and more aware of, of what's going on uh, in our world. So I'm about and like to this, that the relationships have become more important. Uh, it's funny, we have less of them, so now we appreciate them more. And people look forward to, to their Zoom meetings if they are with people they enjoy, like this one. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're looking forward to it now. At first it was like, oh, another Zoom meeting, but, but then they pick and choose and pick the ones they really get something from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, and being a nutritionist and being a NECAN, I know we've got since we're on to the COVID conversation, <laughs> you know, I know I have my, I'm very diligent with my lactoferrin, my immunity, um, Siaga. I'm probably about five times a week on the Siaga. I, I don't seem to always get, if I'm home in the afternoon, that's when I like to take it, but sometimes I'm not here. But so how will you implement some of the NECAN products in your day and your, um, yeah, tell, talk about implementing that. Well, I'm sitting on a Nikon seat always at my desk and when I'm watching a movie and in my cars. Um, and uh, I use all the nutritionals and sleep, of course, on a pad. That's, that's where all the health starts is just getting out of that bed every morning and having a positive 
to feel about your day because you're not dragging yourself out saying, oh, I still feel tired. You're awake and ready to enjoy your day. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I, I, I use the KDB maybe three times a week because I love breakfast. So we do have a big breakfast together, my husband and I. And um, then, but I take, I take the nutritionals, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're foundational. And I love that Nikon's nutritionals are um, in the physiological range. They're all formatted to work together. So you can't overdo it. When I was doing counseling for nutrition stores, often people say, I read about, uh, you know, B6, I need more B6. And I'm like, well, are you getting your other Bs? And they're like, oh, I didn't know about them. So you can overdo things if you know, you know, a little knowledge can be dangerous. But Nikon's taking care of that. You don't need expert nutritional advice when you're using Nikon. So I love that. So anyhow, let's do some questions and answers. <laughs> yeah, let's open it up for that. All right, guys. We have Randy here. So you can unmute yourself and ask. So I just wanted to give everybody a little heads up, but this is exciting. <clears throat> So okay. what did, Randy, it's Hattie Jane. Forgive me for popping up. Uh, so what do you say to the folks? So well, Costco has got this supplement, or Sam's Club, or Americas, or all the local drugstore. They've got that, and it's cheaper, and I can just get that, and I can meet my needs. What makes Nikon so different? Well, there's a number of things. First of all, they try to resource from whole foods as much as possible, and also from organic foods as much as possible, and also um, as uh, vegan as possible. And most of the commercial um, one-a-day type things are, um, they come out of a lab. They, they don't, your body does not recognize them as food factors. And so Nikon's philosophy is about being as close to nature as possible, but just concentrating these nutrients so we can get them because they're missing from our, our fields and our foods in our fast paced American diet. But um, those, those are the main things that they tend to be as organic as, and they're more expensive because they're organic and vegan and, and whole foods. And they work better with the body because the body recognizes them as factors they can work with. And doctors uh, have been told, you know, you get expensive urine if you take all those vitamins. Well, yeah, they're, if they're lab produced and your body doesn't recognize them, they will go through you and your liver has to treat them. And it, and, uh, you know, studies have shown that just some of the, some of the cheaper multis um, don't make any difference in people's uh, health. No, I, I, I remember my mom in Mississippi, we had the septic tank and they would come and I'd say, so tell me, do you have a lot of supplements coming through? Cause she would take uh Centrum, like, I don't know if I should say the name, but anyway, yeah. and it doesn't ever break down. So it comes right on through you like uh, the pill and it, I call them potty pellets. So yeah, you <laughs> want to make sure you can absorb them and, and get them into your body. And that's what's so great. Nikan has the wellness subscription, which gives you 10% off. And then you can change it up and start kind of getting your coffers filled with other things as well. So that's kind of nice too. Um, and also you get, they have the different supplements that are labeled for what system are you trying to support, whether it's the digestion or the bones or the, the, uh, the uh, brain um, or the detoxification. So you don't need to read 50 books like I've read 400 nutrition books and taking courses, uh, you don't have to do that to know what to do to get your joints more flexible. You just use knee and joint. You can't hurt yourself because it's all natural. Hey, Randy, I've got a question for you. Yeah, well, Elaine. Two questions. Um, a lot of people talk about zinc nowadays. And so, and you're talking like about the magnesium. Um, well, we have we have some zinc, we have some magnesium in some of our products. So, so is just taking some normal Nikan products with generally, you know, the two or one or three a day that they suggest, 
does that give us enough supplementation? Yes, um, in general, yes. Now I do recommend more magnesium because uh, you need a lot of it, like a half a gram a day. And there, you just can't put that much in a capsule. <laughs> but they do put some in there. Uh, they have some of everything, which is awesome. Now, as far as the zinc, I think it's pretty much enough for most people, unless they're having real membrane or eye problems, then they may take extra. Or uh, zinc is also very helpful uh, in fighting infection and um, inflammation. So uh, I think that's why it's being touted right now because people are in a lot of stress and uh, trying to accommodate that. But it works very closely with vitamin A. And so we have both of those in our multiple in, in the right amounts to balance for, for normal everyday health. I'm, I'm really awful. The only thing that I don't take is the women's daily. I think I take everything else. Yeah, I, I, um, that's, that's one of my pet stories because um, you need to get the basics first. The A, B, C, D, E are in that multi. And um, because of the way um, the medical world and pharmaceutical world have kind of taken over um, the public discourse in, on health, um, people think of, okay, I'll take immunity for immunity and I'll take digestion for digestion. And they forget that you, you need the basic nutrition, the A, B, C, D, E that we've known about for three or four centuries. Mm -hmm. But um, those, those are the first things that go when you cook your foods or uh, if, it's, if it's not organic. So um, that women's daily is is really worth it it's it's not expensive okay no and it's four a day so you, i take two and two <clears throat> and they're caplets so they're easy to it's not another capsule i like that it's a caplet um because i just think it's easier to digest on the system yeah they use a very digestible uh coverings so that it and they don't have a lot of fillers to make the color gorgeous or whatever. But it's like four, four supplements in one. It's like four containers in one. The, um, on the bone pack, um, I actually wrote Nikin and I said, I can't take your calcium anymore because they're not covered, obviously, so they don't become potty pellets so that they do go into the system, you know, and, and, and digest. Um, but, but they are so, so big and just so rough. I have a really hard time with the knee can calcium. Hmm. Uh, well, you can, um, you can break them up or you can get, you know, mortar and pestle mm. and just, uh, crush them. I used to do that for the kids when they didn't want to take tablets and I just crushed them for them and put them in their orange juice or whatever. Igor throws uh, them all in his shake. Too. He puts it in the blender. He'll put ah. a lot of things in there and the kids don't know that they're getting extra stuff. <laughs> well, but I heard from, I think one of Linda's calls that the calcium was better taken at night. And so I've been taking the calcium and BDZ at night before I go to bed and hoping that makes a difference. Um, Last well, the idea, yeah, the idea of doing it at night is to basically help the calming effect for sleep um, but I always say take it when you're going to be sure to take it <laughs> I take just about everything on in the morning because I, I just can't be bothered to do it at any other time <laughs> um, so maybe you know I only absorb 85 percent instead of 95 percent but you know it's it's not like medication where you need to take it on an empty stomach or you need to take it only with food or you need to take it three different times during the day this is food and so your body will treat it like food and uh so you really don't have to be too um dogmatic about when you take it so i would recommend for you if you really don't like those big pellets at night um maybe you know, take them in the morning or, or mash one up for nighttime. Okay, thanks. Sure. Nice. Anybody else?
Got a question for Randy. We've got some great, great information, great insight. You know, I just think that we could continue talking about different areas all the way. Let's go ahead well, and say- Let me mention something that came up uh, recently because a lot of people are at home doing more landscaping than usual, you know, gardening or, or weeding um, and uh, people are getting poison ivy. And poison ivy is a stress reaction and I have a secret solution for it, which has worked for everybody I've ever told in the last 40 years. And it's, it's a distress vitamin, which is B5. And you see it in hair products, but it's not often mentioned um, as a nutritional and it's called pantothenate or pantothenic acid. And it's, it's one of the ones they put in B complex, but never, nobody touts it, but it's actually called the stress vitamin. And if you take massive doses of it, if you get an attack of, of poison ivy, it won't spread and it won't ooze and it won't itch and it'll go away so fast. Uh, and I, I, had, uh, I had a terrible rash when I was teaching law school for the first time. And it was a hot September day and I was wearing long sleeves and long skirt because I didn't want them all seeing my oozing arms and legs and we had just moved and with two kids and you know stress time teaching law school so um i did all this research i couldn't find anything and finally i found this one letter in an old prevention magazine that said massive doses of panathenic acid so i took 500 milligrams every hour for uh, 24 hours and in the morning it was on its way out it was absolutely amazing. So I've recommended it. And people come back to me years later and say, I've got poison ivy again. What was that stuff? So that's a, a secret sauce I'm offering you guys because you didn't give oh, me any questions. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's great. Awesome. Yes, Margaret. Uh, so if anybody has any other things to say, or, you know, Randy, we can get your books online. Do you do any radio shows and things you want to promote now as well? Well, sure. I have a Facebook page called Vibrant Health Through Natural Living. And I post about, uh, about twice a week. I'll put up a five minute, three to five minute thing about something about vibrant health through natural living. Vibrant health and through natural living. Okay. Through natural living. Yeah. So you just go to Facebook and put that in, in your search. And I also have a, a private group that you can join um, called Paleo Childhood Community for, for parents. Um, and I post about twice a month there on things relating to, to the basics of parenting and good family health. Well, and diet's so important for children. It really is. Um, I know that it was really hard for us to get protein in our godchild for a little bit. And all she wanted was the chicken nuggets. And I'm like, oh, please. Yeah, you really have oh. to work hard to break bad habits. But I, I really got excited about parenting when, when I realized that, you know, being a lawyer, all this litigiousness and anger and unhappiness. And it starts with teaching our kids how to build health and contentment and love. So I, I just think, I say world peace starts at home. <laughs> That's right, one child at a time, right? Well, we've started having our godchild stay here three nights a week. So we, Sunday wow. night, we bring them to school on Monday and then we did because we wanted to make an impact. We wanted to let her sit at a table and eat food with people and, this is what people do. This is the family, you know, and, and so we're, we may not be able to make a difference all the way around the world with children, but we can do this one. Right? Yes. And kids learn by Im imitation. That's the strongest teacher is what are the adults in their environment doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the secret. Well, thank you so much, Randy, for being on. I'm so appreciative and uh, look forward to more times with you as well. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be with you, Barbara, and all these other lovely faces. I'm happy to see. Yay.